Hey guys, Jim and Sarah here. We are taking the boat out for a little Sunday fun day, um, mainly to do some fishing. Um, we're down in the Port Orange, South Daytona area, and um, may actually head up a little bit, head down a little bit further south. The wind is blowing actually pretty hard today. We just had a little glimpse of the river and it's quite choppy, so hopefully we can get on the fish this afternoon. And my captain said that even if we don't catch the fish, he's going to take me out to lunch. And uh, we'll be doing that most likely at Inlet Harbor. Yeah, it's not called Inlet Harbor anymore. Oh. Even though that's what I always call it. What's the other one across the bridge, or on the other side of the bridge, New Smyrna side? The other marina that we were going to park our boat at. Oh, uh, Sea Love. No, not Sea Love. Down past the New Smyrna Bridge. Uh, outriggers. Outriggers. We've never been there on the boat, so maybe we'll do that today. So, wish us some luck. trying to find a little bit of shelter from the wind because again the wind is coming from the north and it's really quite strong today um, so we're just going to try to find a little cove along the creek and we're also scoping out some potential areas to do a, what do you call them catch and cook, the catch and cook. <laughs> on like a little like sandy beach area for one of our future videos um, now, living here in Florida, there's so many opportunities to be out on the water, to do things that are in the boat, on the islands that are around here. It's paradise. Very much so. All right. I'm going to show you guys what we're using here. Hopefully get on some mangroves. For some pompano, they've been catching some pompano. I got 20 pound diamond braid. FG knot to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader and a 1 owner light circle hook. That's what we're using. Shimano Stratic 4000 on a St. Croix Mojo inshore rod. So hopefully, we're gonna catch some fish today. They're my favorite fishing rods. These ones? Yeah. These are your favorite? Yeah. Why are you the favorite? Because they're lightweight. They're super lightweight. They are. They're lightweight. And I love Stratix. I really do. They're not crazy expensive, but I absolutely love Shimano Stratic reels. They're awesome. I fish Shimano pretty much. I think all of our reels are Shimano, even our offshore reels. So, very happy with them. All right, let's fish. Let's do it. Come on, fish. Dang it. Yeah, I think that's all like oyster bed. There we go. Look at that. All right, an Look oyster. at the size of that. I 
told you you got an oyster. Oh man, that's a nice one. Fishing was no bueno. We're going to eat. It used to be the Inlet Harbor from many, many years ago. They renamed it and got a new owner to Off the Hook Farm Grill. And they have really good ahi. This way? Or do you want to go up the other way? There was a bunch of sheephead down here the last time that I was standing out here. How come we weren't fishing here then? <laughs> so freaking good. Love rock trout. It's been a little rough from all the wind, but rock shrimp are amazing. They're like little mini lobsters. Fish look like. All right, let's grab the line and put them in here. There we go. Now oh, we're talking. Very nice. Might make slot. I don't know. Hope something has hit mine now too. that blue tail is. Look at that. What a pretty fish. Alright, let's try to get a bigger one. There he goes. Yay. Off he goes. Woo! First fish of the day. Besides catfish. <laughs> What you got? Oh, you got your little pinfish. There we go. Fish on. Yeah. Yeah, it's on. We got a little nice little mangrove. Looks like. All right. That'll eat. What are you doing over there? Are you sword fighting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one in the ocean but uh, you get your thing on thing back yeah all right the shrimps are little yeah they're a little on the small side that's okay they're alive they're alive uh -oh. 
you lose them? Yeah. We'll see how you're hooking your shrimp. Come here, turn this way. Okay. Oh, a little deep. Oh goodness. Well, because they're little. Yeah. Caught, I've caught three fish to your one, so. Yeah, I guess I better just shut up. I'm doing something right. And now he's a happy little. Happy little I, I don't think he's happy. Well, no, he's definitely not in the best of moods right now. Another little one on. Your fish's brother. Fighting again? Yeah. <laughs> I am getting outfished big time. What do you got? Oh, a little jack. That's a tiny little booger. Yep. Pliers for this one if he Squeezing you, you'd be making a little sound too. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready to catch another one. There we go. Oh. That's a little better fish, it looks like. They all feel better when you're pulling against that current. That's a nice mangrove. All right. There we go. That's a that's a keeper. We got almost got enough for almost got enough for dinner now. struggling here to hold this pole and hold like a there we go two snappers in the box look at the teeth you see those you gotta get the sun shining on them it's like little dog teeth mm -hmm. don't get eaten by that And that's okay. How are you holding your lip? Just right. <laughs> that's what your dad always told me to do. You gotta hold your if lip I right. If I ain't catching fish, I ain't holding my lip right. Oh. Get him. Oh. Were you robbed? Still playing with it? There we go. Look at that. The very last shrimp. Can she land them? That's the question. 
Let's get this game face. Oh, that's a nice mangrove. Look at that. Ending the last shrimp with the biggest one. That's awesome. Look at that. Now you gotta hold him out so he looks way bigger. Okay, yeah, your hand doesn't do any justice. <laughs> All right, why'd you throw your fish at me? <laughs> Look at the spikes on that man. All right, get him in there. All right, we definitely have enough for supper now. Good job. I'm gonna make some high five. Homemade sourdough crackers for our fish dip that we bought. Cool. Okay, everyone, we ended up having a really good day out fishing, didn't we, babe? We did. It was, we got a very late start. We didn't start fishing until about noon. And we hit up three or four different spots that normally catch fish in. We didn't catch squat in all four of those spots, so hunger got the best of us. Uh, we ended up having some poke bowls, re-energized. And got back out on the water. Um, by mid-afternoon, it's about 3.30, um, 4 o'clock actually, by the time that we got back out. And it was really good. We got to a little cutoff, like right by like where a little canal comes out, and the tide was really ripping our Minn Kota trolling motor um, has spot lock on it and what a great idea no throwing an anchor line just lock it and go <laughs> it was running about 8 out of 10 power um, just to keep up with the tide so it was it was cool but we ended up throwing out the rest of our shrimp um, over the next like two hours and there basically 50 shrimp in two hours <laughs> yeah because nothing was hitting on our last <coughs> spot so i caught the first fish we caught the little red fish it was too small by two inches they got to be 18 inches and it was 16 inches um we ended up catching what else did we catch the jack and we got yeah three, little baby jack three small mangroves that we're going to cook up in just a little while Not something sure simple Something simple. Something simple. Nothing crazy. All right. I'm going to fillet these boogers up for dinner. Chappie's waiting for a. He's waiting for some. For some, want some fish. sushi. What's you doing? Chappie, what do you? What is it? <clears throat> Definitely need to Maybe cut a little far forward. Probably sharpen our knives <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, yep. Look, I bled them out a little bit, but I can't get that little that um, other little pin bone <clears throat> to break. Oh, cut your hand. Okay. Nice skinning job. 
we're gonna go get stuff put away and get ready to cook these. See you in a few. Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Um, this is the fish that we caught earlier today, um, the mangrove snappers. Um, because it's just the two of us, this is gonna be a perfect portion, um, basically one and a half fish per person. I've pre-made a little bit of coconut ginger rice and some broccoli is steaming just to kind of get things going. It's been a long day, we're hungry and we're ready to eat. I'm gonna just use a little bit of this South Florida Fishing Channel's blackening seasoning. The pan is preheating and I'm gonna use coconut oil despite the fact that Jim doesn't really want coconut oil. He said, mm, add more, the butter. More of a butter kind of guy. Add the butter. But coconut oil is actually very good for you and it is low for like your cholesterol and everything. So blah, 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 blah. better for you. <laughs> hey, I'm working on that. I don't want to overdo the seasoning, just lightly. Um, this first one, I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit. And this coconut, it actually has like a coconut flavor, like a smell to it. So it's going to pair nicely with our coconut rice. This fish is going to cook really quickly. You've got to pay attention to it. Right. I'm going to go in for a quick little flip. Ooh, look at that. Hey, that seasoning really does add some color to your fish, doesn't it? I can't go wrong with some little mangrove snappers. They're so good. Those are actually going to be probably a little, have like almost like a little crisp to them too. Perfect. All right. I think they're done. They've been on the pan really roughly about six minutes. It really doesn't take very long to get these mm -hmm. to be done. It's a quick, easy meal, something that we can really just kind of throw together last minute and enjoy together. on a late night. All right, next up is just a little bit of broccoli. Nothing too fancy. Let me get a... Ooh, look at that. That is tender. I cooked it just right. And I used your little basket, by the way. Oh, good. That new basket that you got, that actually worked really well. All right, let's give you a taste. See how your snapper tastes. <laughs> Whoops. Mm. Pretty awesome. Super juicy. That seasoning is really good. Very light and not overpowering. I'm impressed. That's the first time we've used that blackening. <laughs> good job today. That was good teamwork. You ready to sit down? Yes. Do you want a bite? Yes. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. So good. All right, y'all. Till next time. Thank you for tuning in to our channel. If you like our last video, you can give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. See you guys later.